guys. Happy Thursday. Ashley Pickens here in Memphis, Tennessee. You guys, I have been real estate since 2006. 2006, you guys, as a real estate agent, as a real estate broker, and I'm also an auctioneer. I auction at the courthouse here in Shelby County, Nashville, and parts of Mississippi. But today's video, and I'm also a mom, and I'm in the carpool line, you guys. True life, real life. This is reality TV. I'm in the carpool line recording this video. Okay, so let's talk about foreclosure numbers for quarter one. Okay, quarter one, 2024, foreclosure numbers are out. So let's jump right in. We have 95,349 properties with a foreclosure filing for the first quarter, which is up 3% right up three percent from the previous quarter but down less than one percent also the report shows a total of thirty two thousand eight hundred and seventy eight properties with foreclosure filings in march so keep in mind there's three phases of foreclosure right the notice of default is filed the auction is scheduled and then the bank repossesses the property so thirty two thousand properties had a foreclosure filing in March. So they were somewhere in the process. And we currently have 95,000 properties in foreclosure total. So let's talk about the states with the most foreclosure starts right now. Foreclosure starts. That means the first notice was filed. A total of 67,657 properties started the foreclosure process in quarter one. Okay, now let's talk about the states, you guys. States that had 100 or more foreclosure starts in quarter one. We've got New Hampshire up 43%, Illinois up 26%, Florida up 22%, Rhode Island up 21%. I know y'all just saw that school bus drive by me. This is real life. Ain't no camera crew. It's just me, you, this phone and this carpool line again rhode island up 21 percent and nevada up 16 percent those are foreclosure starts the states with the most foreclosure starts let's keep moving so populations of 200,000 or more that had the greatest number of foreclosure starts we've got new york city with 4,404 foreclosure starts in New York City. Houston, Texas with 2,977 foreclosure starts. I heard somebody honk and I got to make sure I don't have to move, right? Because they will go around me in this carpool line. For, okay, so Houston, Texas, 2,977 foreclosure starts. Chicago, Illinois with 2,867 foreclosure starts. Los Angeles, California with 2,398 new foreclosures. And Miami, Florida with 2,319 foreclosure starts. Miami has been top five for at least the last four months. And it's so crazy because Miami is such a hot spot. They said prices are going up on houses. But y'all, it's Florida. In Florida with their property taxes and people getting dropped from insurance. Florida. I'm, so Miami had, what did I say? 2,319 new foreclosures for the first quarter. Okay, so let's talk about the states with the highest overall foreclosure rates right now okay overall highest foreclosure rates states we've got new jersey we've got delaware south carolina nevada and florida highest foreclosure rates in these states let's talk about cities we've got columbia south carolina spartanburg south carolina lakeland florida atlantic city new jersey and cleveland ohio South Carolina is on the list. I don't know what's going on. Spartanburg, Columbia. South Carolina, what's going on? They're ta are y'all's taxes high? Property taxes, insurance? We know Florida, they dropping people in Florida. Okay, so that's overall highest foreclosure rates right now. 
other metropolitan cities with at least a million people with high foreclosure rates. Okay. Cleveland, Ohio at number five, Riverside, California at number nine, Orlando, Florida at number 10, Las Vegas, Nevada at number 13, and Jacksonville, Florida at number 15. Boom. Let me say, I think because everybody's like always is our foreclosures coming, is the wave coming? Y'all, it's going to come in waves. I feel like foreclosure, foreclosures, there's always a lag in foreclosures. Even in 2008, when the market crashed, we didn't see the peak of foreclosures until 2009, 2010. 2010 was our peak with a million foreclosures in 2010. So there's always a lag in foreclosures. And I think there's so many factors that will play into this foreclosure wave. You know, we never had a moratorium for four years that stopped foreclosures. We have never done that right in a normal year we foreclose on like 150 to 200,000 people a year in a normal year we stopped foreclosures for four years you guys so imagine how many people is included in that these people who were promised that they could buy now refinance later y'all know I never agreed with that right buy now and hope that your interest rate goes down it's a lot of people struggling i'm seeing people in foreclosure who just bought in 2022 2023 trying to hold on to these properties and the interest rate they were promised that interest rates were going to go down and they have not gone down and they're struggling to hold on to this mortgage payment and most people don't even understand the process of how to refinance a property let's just be honest that was missing from that narrative that you can buy now, refinance later. Y'all, refinancing is getting that whole loan. You're getting the loan again. Credit, origination fees, you need to have equity in your house. Your credit still needs to be good. You need to have a job. And y'all see these jobs laying off? Hey, you guys, I'm back. Look, I'm home now, out of the carpool line. Moving right along to reo properties bank repossessions that's usually when they go up for auction if they don't sell with me at the auction they will revert back to the bank and become reo properties you can find reo properties at like hudhomestore.gov homepath.gov homesteps.gov wells fargo bank of america and truest have their own reo websites okay you guys um i put together like a list of auction websites reo websites it's a link on my stand store look down in the description and you can absolutely free i give it to you for free so let's talk about reo properties okay bank rip re, ugh, talk ashley bank repossessions increased seven percent from last quarter lenders repossessed ten thousand fifty two u.s properties through foreclosure in quarter one okay this is up seven percent from the previous quarter so here are the states that had the greatest number i talk with my hands don't i okay here are the states that had the greatest number of reos in quarter one the good thing about reo properties you guys is you can use traditional financing right you can get an inspection you can use traditional financing, FHA, conventional, all that kind of stuff. Negotiate with the bank if you are buying an REO. I need to do a whole video on REO and buying them. Negotiate with the bank. You can't negotiate with me at the auction, okay? So, REOs. We've got Michigan with 1,049 REOs, California with 845 Pennsylvania with 838, Illinois with 810, and Texas with 596 REO properties, properties that went back to the bank. They went through the whole foreclosure process and didn't sell at auction, and they now the bank owns them. Okay, so get this, you guys. Average time to foreclose increases 2%. So properties from start to finish. This is the timeline, you guys. Properties foreclosed in quarter one had been in the foreclosure process for an average of 736 days. 736 days. What is that, like two years? 
which I believe because everybody who reaches out to me is behind on their mortgage one, two, three years, right? So I absolutely believe that. So here are the states with the longest average foreclosure timeline, states with the longest. Louisiana, their foreclosure timeline is 2,641 days. Hawaii, 2,031 days. New York, 1,958 days. Nevada, 1,701 days. And Kentucky, 1,701 days to go from the start of foreclosure to the end. So states with the shortest average foreclosure timeline in 2024, Montana, they foreclosed in 123 days. If you live in one of these states, you better talk to your mortgage, you better talk to the bank, you guys. So Montana, 123 days, Virginia, 152 days, Texas, 163 days, Wyoming, 191 days and West Virginia, 217 days. That probably has a lot to do with if it's a judicial state or a non-judicial state. I work here in Tennessee and they it's non-judicial. So if they, they if they send you that notice of default after you are behind three months, they send you a notice of default and they can auction off your house in 30 days. Boom. But I know like in Florida, I got a couple of mentees that are in my mentorship the actually mentees and the mentorship and they're in florida which is a judicial state and i know there you like you can get a lawyer you can test you can contest it like once they file i think you have 20 days to contest the foreclosure then you got to go to court so their foreclosure like florida and judicial states i mean their foreclosure process can be like six months or something like that whereas here in tennessee that would look they're sending that notice and we'll snatch your house from you in 30 days, right? So like I always say, you guys, you got to communicate with your bank. Do not ignore phone calls. Do not ignore mail. You can't, you can't ignore them. There is nothing protecting people from the bank foreclosing. All COVID moratorium has ended except for veterans, which ends at the end of May. So yo, I know a lot of people are just like in denial and then some people just walking away from their homes you know but these are quarter one numbers you guys um don't forget that i have a master class next thursday so if you watch this after april 18th you guys i'm sorry right you can go back and watch the replay next thursday's master class is all about foreclosures and the opportunities at each stage if you're a home buyer a real estate agent or an investor it is absolutely free sign up the link is down below it's always a good time i think i had almost 300 people at in march's master class so april i think we've already got like over 100 people registered it's a good time i mean i'm the teacher so register for that i am going to send out my letters you guys a bunch of y'all have already got the bundle because you want to work with homeowners in distress i send out letters you know just offering my assistance basically so if that's what you're trying to do grab them i have some foreclosure letters and i also have some probate airship letters so grab those what else you guys i have a mentorship oh look all my resources are at the link are in the link down below okay so I'm on Instagram, your agent Ashley on Instagram. I'm on YouTube, voila, right here on YouTube. Um, you guys and I try to go live on YouTube on Sundays at 8 p.m. Central Time. So tune in, it's always a good time. And I will, look, I'm trying to do videos like every day. Pray saints. But I'm trying to do videos every day so make sure to comment like subscribe do all the things that you're supposed to do okay you guys and i will see you in the next video